Hey guys, this is Brian, Bryce, and Luca from How Radiology Works, where we have fun physics videos for radiologic technologists. Today we're going to be talking about magnetic fields, magnetic field lines, and just in general the fun stuff we like to play with here on a Saturday morning. So sometimes we'll be playing with the magnet tiles, with like a magnet drawing device here, and so we're going to talk about how these kinds of things work. and what do magnetic field lines look like? Electric and magnetic fields. The idea is we want to be able to visualize instead of just thinking about there's some cloud of interaction going on around these magnets or these charges. We want to be able to really visualize the field strength and how things are going to interact if they're brought into contact with those fields. And we're going to talk about just simple examples today. So we'll talk about first a point electric charge. So if you have a point electric charge, like we talked about before, electric charges that have opposite charges. So if you have a negative and you have a positive, those are going to attract one another. If you have like charges, those are going to repel one another. The simplest thing is if we have a point charge here, the idea of an electric field is imagine you were to put a small little test point here, and that small little test point we give a charge. So that charge is small enough that it's not going to influence the field here, but we're going to say what would happen to this little test charge right here? And by convention, we're going to say that little test charge would go out in this direction because it's, if it's positive. And then the same thing here, if I put a little test charge here, that little test charge would go out in this direction. Same thing here, if I put a little test charge here, that little test charge would go out in this direction. So what's actually going to happen is we can draw field lines like this that indicate the electric field and you can see that if you are closer in if you're closer in to the point charge the electric field is going to be stronger if you're further away from that point charge the electric field is going to be weaker and you can visualize that by looking at the density of these lines so if you if you have a given what we call sample here, let's see if we draw a line here, then we draw a line of the same width out here. You can see here it's interact, intersecting two lines and here it's only intersecting one line. As you go further away, the density of lines is getting less. This is actually following the same one over R squared that we're familiar with in radiology as well because that's the way that x-rays spread out in our system but coming away from a point charge it's also the field is spreading out like one over r squared what would a point magnetic element look like it's a trick question guys there's no such thing as a monopole there's no such thing as a point magnetic element but a simple scenario that we can draw for a magnet has a north pole, a north pole rather, a north pole and a south pole. And if we think about drawing these same sort of lines, these lines actually indicate the relative force. We draw these same kind of lines in the magnetic case. That's equivalent to, instead of putting our little point charge in there, what we can think of in the magnetic case is we take a little compass. We put that little compass in and we have a convention that the lines outside the magnet are going to be pointing away from the North Pole. So I put the little compass there and we would get lines pointing like this. And if I put the little compass on the bottom of that magnet, I would get the, magnet, the compass would flip. And you could take our little compass, just like we could take our point charge here, take our little compass, 
move it to different places, and we could draw those lines indicating what the local field is there. But we would get tired of doing that like lots of different places. So we actually just use the same idea of drawing field lines, and these field lines are closed coming from the North Pole and going into the South Pole. There actually are fields going straight up and down within the magnet as well, but I'm not drawing those here. And that's the basic idea is that, again, you can see, just like in the case of the electrostatics, the density of these lines is indicating how strong the magnetic force is. So you can see very close to the north and south pole is where there is a much higher density and then it's lower out here away from the magnet. Give us a like and hit subscribe down below and click on that little bell icon. So that's three things. Like, subscribe, and then click on that little bell icon. So we looked in our closet this morning and we found sea salt, we found bacon chips, and what's this, iron filings? We definitely don't want to put this on the salad, but we definitely can have some fun with this with our magnets. Check out what magnetic field lines look like. But the idea is that if you took a magnet and you had something that you could magnetize like iron filings and you put that close by one of the poles then these lines these field lines we would actually be able to have our iron filings each one of those iron filings is acting like a tiny compass and they're standing up in a line if, if you're looking at relatively close to one of the poles if we zoom in on that draw that right here relatively close to one of the poles, what you would be seeing is a lot of lines that look like this relatively close to the pole. So if you put iron filings nearby, imagine like we saw in the experiment, you put a piece of cardboard here, so this is paper, but the field lines actually can penetrate that paper. So if we look at it, the expectation is the field lines are going to be coming in this direction and we put our filings down and those filings then are going to line up in that direction and then we could move the magnet and the fields will move locally with the magnet. So it's more than just a fun little game that you can play with your kids. You're actually showing how those magnetic field lines are interacting and it's something you can do where you can learn about the local behavior of the magnetic field and it's not different in the sense of physics from the fields for electrostatics. The same idea with field lines is that we draw those field lines and where the lines are more dense that means there's a relatively higher force from the electric or from the magnetic field out our next video it's going to be about Coulomb's law that has to do with the electrostatics and how can we quantify the force on two point charges from one another